I learn as I go as well too. And what I have learned so far with building a garden, now that I have done this a few times, is that the foundation is very important. Having proper soil that is nutrient dense will determine whether or not the food that is grown uh, flourishes or not, and the quality of the food that is grown as well. So I started with removing all of the bark that was in the area that I knew I wanted to plant in. I just scraped all the bark up with a rake and found the dirt that was down below. I then took my rake, it's a metal rake, not uh, one of those plastic ones, and I began to loosen up the top probably three to four inches of the soil that was already there. Then we got this compost and started to lay the compost on top of that soil, intermixing the previous dirt that was there with this new compost. And then we went back and added even more compost on top. As this compost, it will settle a little bit, especially that it's been raining. And I wanted to make sure that there would be a nice, good, thick layer of compost on, on top. Later on, I will decipher if mulch is needed on top of this compost. I'm thinking it will be, but for the area that I am planting in, it has a good amount of sun and shade, and I'm thinking the mulch might not be needed, but I will see as I go. Dirty hands, dirty toes. This makes for quite a beautiful, good day. I had a few plants that were already growing that I decided to dig up so I could add the compost. So here's a little carrot that was growing. And I have a few garlic uh, cloves that sprouted as well. That is a bell pepper plant that I learned needs a little bit more sunlight. And then there is a little bit of cilantro there as well. Those I will be replanting in this area right here. And then my parsley is doing so wonderful, so 
he gets to stay right where he is at and then same with the Swiss chard as well. Both of these I planted about a year ago and they have continuously grown this whole time so I am so grateful. And with some leftover dirt, uh, these are the house plants that I have so they got a little sprinkling of new dirt themselves as well. All right, so here is what it looks like now. All of this will be garden area. Excuse my laundry. I hang up my laundry to dry. Um, that was the bark that was there before there on the right side. And then now all of this is new compost. And I am so excited to see what this will look like come a handful or a few months. Um, I am hoping for, anticipating um, just an abundance of uh, mainly veggies, a little bit of fruit as well too. There's Tiffany, my house plant. If you guys know what a spider plant is, that is a spider plant that is hanging from the tree. So that is the yard and what I am working with and I'm going to go ahead and replant uh, these garlic and cilantro and bell pepper in the soil. Um, and hopefully they will do well being transplanted. Some plants um, do well with transplantation and other ones not so much. So uh, hopefully they do well. Both of the trees that we have here, they weren't pruned properly when they were growing. So they both um, kind of grow out towards the side. So we've been working on supporting them a little bit better. That's why I have these two um, wooden slabs propping them up. And then also, if you can see, there's a, a string where I've attached it to the fence. Uh, praying it doesn't tear down the fence, but I think it's all good. Uh, so offering a little extra support to our trees here as well too. They provide wonderful shade where I'm going to plant um, some of the greens and herbs. And there are the ones that I just finished transplanting. And may this garden flourish this summer and provide an abundance of food for not only myself, my partner, but our friends around and neighbors too. These are the bell flowers of that one tree. I was sitting down in uh, the other morning drinking my tea and was just amazed at nature, really. <laughs> the beautiful little spirals that these flowers start out with and then they become this little bell shape. It's quite beautiful.
Thank you for joining me in this video today. I hope this inspires you and motivates you to have your own garden or maybe expand the garden that you already have. Again, thank you for being here and I will see you in the next video.